Alright, alright. Hey, what's up guys? Reporting back on the past two days. Uh, Tuesday was super, super awesome. And here's why. Uh, I set a goal for five sales. So that's uh, going after my personal best was four. So I was like, okay, I need to, I need to break this. Like, And so, a uh, really good day. I ended up with three on the day and here's what happened. So, uh, first sale, lady was like, oh, I don't want anything in my garden. I said, hold on, hold on. We do some really awesome stuff for your garden to take care of like those aphids and earwigs and black widows and uh, also having some carpenter ants or something like that. And so I just went off and this lady was like, okay, all right. A little bit of an enthusiastic salesman. I like this. So spent like probably 30, 40 minutes explaining the whole process. Um, walked around the garden and that, like I was just building value, building value, building value and more value and more value and more value to the point where she was like, okay, this sounds awesome. And so that was, that was a good one. Uh, spent, you know, probably 40 or so minutes at that, at that one. Uh, and then, uh, which it was, it was actually pretty interesting. She was showing me all of her, uh, she had a scrapbook of like, um, she was like a big, uh, super fan of the band the monkeys so it was just really cool I always like to interact uh, in a positive way with customers um, in that regard so it was super cool showing her or showing me the uh, the uh, cool scrapbook that she had um, of a, a long long time ago and so anyways it was really neat and uh, she just got serviced so that was really cool that was a good example um, of a good sale and then after that Okay, number two, I mean, all in that neighborhood, it was just like, bam, bam, bam. I had another one, uh, some, some, a lady was like, okay, well, let's, let's see if you're an expert or not. You can tell me what's in my yard. And I said, okay, piece of cake. So I showed her some bowls uh, that were digging up her brick or going up underneath the brick and pushing the brick up. And I said, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna stick my pen down into this and we move it back and forth like an argument and it's going to drop down and that means that you have a bowl problem and so I did that she's like whoa can you do it again and I like went and you know dabbled in the grass and the pen dropped she's like okay I guess you do know what you're talking about and so that was a super uh, awesome thing to where I was like okay uh, I actually did previous gopher bowl rodent work, whatever you want to call it, um, for one of my high school jobs. So that's, that's how I learned that trick. And so it was super entertaining to show someone in their yard, uh, exactly how to do that. And, uh, so that was, uh, number two, um, a little bit frustrated because our technician showed up and said that, that we didn't treat that, that that was a different service, but then operations came back and said that, that we do treat that. So Hopefully they hop back on. Uh, I don't. It's just really frustrating when something cancels when we cover something, but someone said we didn't, and now the customer is like, you know, whatever. So, I'm waiting to hear back if they are going to get back on the service. I don't know. I hope so. Super. Uh, yeah, I don't know, because I don't want to. Well, anyways, that's that's a different different story. Okay. But what, which was really nice is those people said, okay, we've been living here for 20 years. You're probably the most entertaining salesman that's ever knocked our door. And I said, perfect. That's such a great compliment. Um, and then after that, um, I met some lady in her driveway and she's like, this isn't even my house. This is someone else's house. And I was like, okay, cool. Your mom's gonna love what we offer. And so that one was a callback for later that night went and talked to the husband over the phone and uh, answered all of his questions. And that ended up being a premium bundle for the whole Shadil. It was like, I think it was like a 1024 contract value. It was huge. We love, we love fat contracts. Uh, so that was a good three bagger on the day. I was super pumped about that. Okay. Then following into yesterday, my goodness, yesterday was a day, holy cow. Um, in a neighborhood that was, I wouldn't wanna say aggressive, but people were 
very, 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 like, get off our doorstep. And I said, hey, like, I just got to know, like, what's going on? And they're like, yeah, well, you're like the X number salesman or whatever. You guys came by last week. And I said, no, 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 like, different company, different guy. Promise I'm a whole lot nicer and good looking and, and ambitious. And they're like, yeah, funny, but no, we're not interested in, like, yeah, yesterday night, I moved to a different neighborhood, and whoever was in there before me, by golly, why? <laughs> I don't know what you said, man, but uh, it was, uh, people weren't having it. Let's just say that. So, I always try to be kind and courteous and respect boundaries, of course, but anyways, I, yeah, I, I guess there was some guy that went in before me and was just... <laughs> pushing pushing buttons and so that's okay i'm gonna reset not worry about it not think about it today is a new day i'm gonna focus on how i can become better uh, i'm trying to think if there's anything that i've learned or read that i can apply into this Would that be you know what it is a new neighborhood a new me and we're gonna have a great day Today, I'm gonna to make it a great day. Um, so it's just a matter of forget, reset, and go about the process again. Um, I bageled yesterday, so nothing on the day yesterday. I'm a little bit disappointing. However, comma, that does not affect my future, okay? So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change my attitude. I'm gonna change uh, my approach. Sounds like I, I can't do my cookie cutter but rather I gotta you know come up with something that would be able to bring down bring down uh, barriers or I guess like people who have a super high guard to where um, anyways I was just very very surprised maybe it was the one street I was on or like three or four streets people were like not having it and I was like okay all right well I mean, I, I gotta change. I gotta change what I'm doing. I gotta change. What I'm thinking. I know that. I know there's nice people on the street, and so I'm. That's today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be focusing on how can I be nice, how can I be charming, how can I be uh, someone enthusiastic. And, anyways, until next time, guys.